Hyderabad, a city thriving from India's rapid economic expansion. But not everyone's feeling the benefit. Not the thousands of slum dwellers who still live without energy and are forced to depend on kerosene lamps. Reliable lighting may seem a long way off, but a new mini solar lantern named Ashwarya, after India's Miss World, may be the answer. Small is always beautiful. It is not only beautiful, it lights up the world. A dealer from Noble Energy Solar Technology, Nest, is crossing the hills of the Eastern Ghats to Padma Rantanda, a remote corner of Andhra Pradesh. He's come to spread the word about Ashwarya, a mini solar lantern that's bringing light to all those living off the grid. Costing just 30 US dollars, most can afford the lamp, but there's an instalment scheme for those who can't. Powered by a solar panel which generates four hours of light, the lantern is designed to replace the kerosene lamp, which can be deadly. They're the brainchild of Damapa Baki, who as a nine-year-old witnessed the tragic death of his baby cousin. What happened that night was that a, a 15 days old baby burnt alive because of the kerosene lamp that was that fell onto a bed and engulfed the whole bed and then uh, the baby died alive and leaving the mother with severe burns. And solar mini lantern is purely to replace the kerosene wick lamp and in the millions and millions of households where this killer kerosene lamp is being used. Having light in the village makes an enormous difference to everyday life, particularly at meal times. Now with the light, we don't have any problems with insects crawling into the food, so whatever we are eating now has no bugs. Secondly, as it's so light, we're able to take the solar lantern into the hills, where all the pigs that used to come and disturb our crops no longer come near. In other villages like Erapenta, the lanterns help women process food products like gum at night. Using the lights, we can get good gum from the raw gum and sell it in the market for extra cash. With the lights, it is now possible. Before, with the kerosene lamp, it was impossible to see the gum properly. Children also benefit from the lamps, reading without fear of fumes or fire. This light has really brought many good things to these people here. Their life has been enhanced now with better health and better education and better living. This light really makes a difference in their life. Back in Hyderabad at the Nest plant, orders are pouring in. First the housing is put together, then the fluorescent lamp is inserted and enclosed in a plastic chimney. The battery is fixed to the circuit board and connected to the bulb. The unit is finally tested, charged and ready to go. Each year, 100,000 solar panels are manufactured at the Nest factory. The three watt mini cells are tested for the right voltage, tabbed together with copper wire and sandwiched between high transmission glass and plastic sheets. Next, they're laminated and cured in an oven at 150 degrees centigrade. The edges are then trimmed, taped and the panels fixed. These are then shipped to Hyderabad and packed up for distribution. Mr. Barkey named the lamp after Ashwarya Ray, India's Miss World and rising Bollywood star. So we borrowed the name from Aishwarya Rai, which is, who is the Miss World and who is a perfect, picture-perfect woman in the world. And in the similar way, <clears throat> our product, we thought that it carries both the combinations of beauty with brain, with best performance, and it looks cute. Ashwarya is changing lives in cities too. This is the area where a typical Indian slums look like. And these people, although they are living in the centre of the city and they will not have any light. Over the last 10 years, the slum has spread along the fence of Hyderabad's international airport. You could see an aircraft flying here, and which is the symbol of our richness in this country. And the other side, we have the contrast, where people have no amenities to live, including the sanitation, food, light, anything of that sort. The mini lantern will soon be shining its light across the world, as Nest has just received a large order for a million and a half units from South Africa. They've also developed a lantern with a built-in radio, a solar-powered fan, and a mini solar desk lamp. Mr. Barkey has great hopes for the Ashton Awards. We would like to do it in a global manner. And Ashton Award has really brought this kind of recognition. And it is a recognition for our work. It is not just in one village, 
it is the global phenomenon that is taking place.